What's up everybody, this is Kerry. In this video, we're gonna cover my best spread bets for week one of the NFL season. This video is a follow-up to my previous video where I discuss week one NFL trends. All of our trends involve underdogs covering their spread in week one. However, if we had an extra condition to that, like underdogs getting six and a half points or more, then we see a good trend. The other trends are divisional underdogs to cover the spread and underdogs that won four to six games of previous season covering the spread. Now here's a summary of the video that we posted on NFL Week 1 Trends. In particular, let's look at underdogs getting 6.5 points. In the seasons between 2015 and 2022, they covered the spread in Week 1 58.82% of the time. That's great. That's a trend that we can look at for some value. What the season hit rate means is the following. In 6 of those 8 seasons, this trend was profitable. What does it mean to be profitable? That means that if we go with the minus 110 odds, we need to win at least 52.39% of our bets to be profitable. And that happened in six of the eight seasons for this trend. So that's great. Divisional underdogs covered the spread two thirds of the time and they were profitable in seven of the eight seasons. This is a very strong trend that we're definitely gonna bet into. And then finally, I know you can't see this here, I'll magnify, underdogs, that won four to six games in the previous season, covered the spread 60% of the time in week one, and they were profitable in five of the eight seasons from 2015 to 2022. So another good trend. Now, these are picks that I actually made. The Lions at plus seven, the Texans at plus nine and a half, and the Buccaneers at plus six and a half. Now, if you look at some of these games, in particular the Lions here against the Chiefs, if I was not following this trend, I could easily lean towards the Chiefs here to cover the spread. I think this line right now is at six and a half, and that just means that the Chiefs have to beat the Lions by a touchdown and extra point. That seems like something they could easily do, the reigning Super Bowl champs. In fact, with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, in four of the last five seasons, the Chiefs have covered the spread in week one. That's an 80% success rate. So you see, I could talk myself into picking the Chiefs here. However, I'm going to stick with the trend and take the Lions plus seven. Here are the divisional underdogs. Now the NFL has blessed us with eight divisional games in week one of the 2023 season. That's amazing. There's exactly one game from each of the eight divisions. So we're really hitting on a lot of rivalries here. One of the games I like to pick out here are the Colts. They're going against the Jaguars. Again, if I was not following the trend here, I could easily pick the Jaguars to cover the spread. In fact, I think this line has moved to four and a half now. Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence and Doug Peterson are doing great. They finished the season strong last year. They had that amazing comeback and wild card weekend against the Chargers. Now the Colts, they have a rookie quarterback, Anthony Richardson, who has a lot of hype surrounding them. And they have a first year coach, Shane Steichen. Generally speaking, rookie quarterbacks with first time head coaches do not fare well in their first games. So again, looks like I'm leaning towards the Jaguars. But because divisional underdogs are the strongest trend, I'm gonna go with all these divisional underdogs. That's eight picks that I'm making here. Finally, underdogs that won four to six games in the previous season. The last three of these were on the previous slide. Now, just because they satisfy two of the different trends, it doesn't mean they're twice as likely to cover the spread. But we do pick up the Cardinals at plus six against the Commanders. So we have a total of 12 underdogs covering the spread in week one. Eight of those are divisional underdogs. Final thoughts. Please do your own analysis before placing bets. The information I'm giving you in my videos is just one source of information. Like I said, feel free to fade my bets. I'm not so sure about the Lions or the Colts covering the spread, for example. If I was not following these trends, I probably would pick the Chiefs to cover the spread against the Lions and the Jaguars to cover the spread against the Colts. And finally, we know that we're not going to get 100% of our bets correct. No one does. What we hope to get, or what I hope to get, is at least 55% of my bets correct. That guarantees profit in the long term. So good luck, have some fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will keep track of these bets and see how they play out. The 2023 NFL season is right around the corner. Let's go. If you are a student athlete at an NCAA institution, please do not wager on sports. That would be a violation of NCAA bylaws and could forfeit your eligibility.